Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. It's about 7.45 in the morning. And what I want to tell you today is that healing is a journey of reconnection, quite literally. When we're healing, it's not just the physical body that needs to be healed. The physical body is one layer of a multifaceted existence that is a human being. And I really want to emphasize on the human being part because we are humans and we are also beings. It's kind of like we're the only species that's really called like that. Like my cat, right? You can't really see him on the camera. He's a feline, but he's not called a feline being. And dogs aren't called canine beings. I mean, like, it's like exclusively kind of like a human thing. Though um, I'm not completely 100% aware of every animal kingdom and family and everything. So I don't know if there's any others that do have that tacked on the end of it. But uh, <laughs> we are human beings and part of our path to healing not only is it addressing the physical body that we inhabit, but it's also our minds, so our moods and our emotions and our thoughts, but also kind of the spiritual side of things, our beliefs, our morals, and the way we view the world around us, because that will affect how we view ourselves, our environments, and the people around us. It's kind of a given. <laughs> and, you know, while I did do a video yesterday, I do want to kind of get up into a process of continually just trying to get maybe one or two videos out a week. Uh, I'm hoping to do two. So like every Wednesday and Sunday, I think I already said that probably did. But one thing I really do want to kind of focus on is the fact when it comes to healing, especially for those of us who are overweight, who are facing autoimmune disorders, who are unhappy, or who are facing just some other issue that just seems to keep going and going and going. The way I've actually kind of started looking at it on my end, which has actually helped me a lot, is that when we are in a state where we aren't healthy, be it physically, mentally, or spiritually, we can view that as an infection that's being untreated or one that is being treated, but we're still kind of working on figuring out all the little bits and pieces of a giant moving cog of a machine or, you know, the, each of the little pieces are the cogs and the existence is the machine. And when it comes to actually getting to a place where we're healing, we do need to address all of the factors in our lives that is going to affect our journey to healing because you can't just focus on the physical body or what's on side of it. You have to address the mental aspects of things. And I would deeply encourage even on the spiritual side of things, because having a greater sense of purpose does really kind of help push things through. And the real main part of a journey to healing is that we are trying to stop the proverbial infection, halt it in its path and start to reverse it so we can get back to a state of balance where our bodies, our minds, and our spirits are supposed to be at. The question is, however, how do we do that? This is a question I've asked myself many, many times. And in March of last year of 2020, uh, 2022, not 2020, I mean like three years ago, but I was about 270 pounds. And over a little over a year, I've lost about 20-ish, though doing carnivore was only maybe five months out of that year, about two months in the last year. And then I've been doing it since off and on since the beginning of this year, I keep kind of falling off the wagon and then I climb back on. But for me, I have found beneficial that when it comes to this process is finding little ways to make life easier to make it brighter. So one of the big things I actually did, you can actually see in my room right here, which is why I'm videotaping, <laughs> why I'm recording this video in my room. So as you can probably see, my walls are yellow, giant bed, cats right here. Can't really see him. He's off the camera. But all the walls were bare. There was nothing on them. They were just plain yellow, brown carpet. And you know, it's kind of like a cell almost. There's no sense of self. There's no vibrancy. So I hung up a picture up on the wall 
put up my tapestry to kind of give a little spark that's actually I was trying to use that a rug but it doesn't have anything on the bottom so just my cat just jumps on it and then it slides across the room and these two little touches have brightened up this room considerably another small change I made is that the actual um the foundation that the box spring and the mattress sit on, I removed it so my bed is completely against the floor. It's easier for me to get on and it's not as much of a climb, which helps me a lot and it's a little something that I can do. Another big thing I've done is sleep hygiene. And for those of you who might not be aware of what that means, sleep hygiene is a routine essentially that you follow night by night leading up to going to bed and so lately my main focus is being sure that I am in bed between 10 30 to 11 30 and before that about an hour before that I want to completely turn off all electronics and just focus on reading or writing or something else to let my brain just kind of settle and get ready for sleep and so those are two things I've been doing. Another big thing I've been doing is that environmental wise, like my environment, everything around me is I tend to be kind of a cluttered person. I have a hard time kind of focusing on certain things and without like a structured routine, it's kind of hard for me to get through the day. So a big thing that I have actually done is I've been going from one room to another and slowly like cleaning, reorganizing and just moving things around in a way that isn't overly cluttered so I don't get overstimulated. And that's been really beneficial for me. I've also been waking up early's and early's. I've been waking up early in the morning, anywhere between 4:30 to 5 to 6 on the late end. In the morning getting ready for my day uh, my work shift started yesterday it's day two and I want to be ready to get out the door by 10 and basically actually 10 minutes <laughs> my breakfast is gonna be done it's heating up in the oven again and a lot of it the biggest thing for me really the really most impactful part that I have noticed with my own journey to actually being like brighter mentally is I've actually removed myself largely from the internet. I don't really go on social media. I don't really watch too much TV except for maybe an hour or two in the evening, generally after work when I'm eating my second meal of the day. But um, I do spend like a lot of time just kind of like trying to clean or sweep, go on a walk. And now my walk is actually to work. Uh, it's about a 30 minute walk, which is, you know, good for the health, gets the heart beating, gets the blood flowing, leaves the calves a little bit sore, especially on the walk back. Um, outside of that, a lot of just the processes is just, you know, trying to be more here in the real world to try to get out of my mind. So another thing I've actually done is I've largely stopped actually, like I listen to music, but I've been keeping the headphones off my ears because this was one thing that I was doing regularly is that when I was listening to music, I'd have headphones. I'd be curled up in a corner just listening to music for hours or sleeping. And I also pulled up the curtains on the windows to get some natural light in the room. Now, these are all small changes I've been doing bit by bit. And the cleaning is one that's going to take a long while, but it's working. I'm a little happier, being a little more upbeat, being a little more productive. And that kind of leads to like the next thing. And I'm not going to talk too long on it as the video is almost 10 minutes long anyway. Well, it is about 10 minutes actually, but I've been focusing on my spiritual health. So I've been figuring out like morals, what I believe in, what I do not believe in, and trying to change and adjust my life to kind of match that. As I mentioned in the last video, I like to listen to liturgical chants. I always have. Um, I've been attending church with my family and just 
enjoying the community of the people that are present who are also very kind individuals and several of them who have also had health issues that they've been treating holistically and naturally. Generally, most of them are using more whole foods. They've eliminated processed foods and a lot of them are older and, you know, they can offer little bits of advice and, you know, it's a good setting to meet people that do have really good values and it's been going fairly well. Um, so that's kind of what I just wanted to address for this video and you know, mental and spiritual healing isn't easy. <laughs> no more easier than physically healing the actual bodies we are in, but it is one process of many that will lead to being a stronger, better person in the future. So I'll be seeing all of you on Sunday.